In the words of Corvo Atano, hidden like a secret, quiet as the sunset. Nice. Remember, a pistol will wake up everyone in the building. Your crossbow is quiet. Mad it won't. That's annoying. The right click that normally shoots didn't do anything. Really? That's what I was doing. I literally shot that thing like five times before it actually Time for some more weapons and combat training. Let's beat each other up, shall we? Yes. You hit hard. That's my dog. When someone swings a sword at you, block. How? Good. Well done. Very good. You've got a natural instinct for fighting. If you time your block right, you'll throw an enemy off balance. Shit. Come on. That'd stop even the most black hearted killer. You can choke an enemy out, even in combat. I don't like that being control though. While they're off balance, deliver a fatal blow. When someone swings a sword at you, block. Hmm. Feel better knowing you can take care of yourself. When trouble does finally come, you're ready to fight. All right. Today marks the anniversary of the death of Empress Jessamine Caldwell, assassinated 15 years ago. Visitors from across the Empire of the Isles have journeyed to Dunwall Tower for the occasion. Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in the game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the crown killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. Dang. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world. 
or to have everyone around me executed. That sucks. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There, you're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. Hmm. <laughs> Imperial Majesty Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble rousers, and we'll catch the crown killer eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. <laughs> Your Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor. The Duke of Sirkonos. Ramsay says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's intriguing. Well, mechanical soldiers, amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland, Sarconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation. The rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks. For now, I give you the greatest gift of all. Family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin. Your rightful empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? My dearest niece. Hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector. How naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you. But that's over. Mm. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah. First of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for the Crown Killer murder. What? Man.
We'll play a Zimali first playthrough. Yes. Just because. Coldwind Prison? My father lost it all when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform and I send 20 year olds out to patrol the Rose Gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily, what happened? I'll be all Captain Mayhew. Sword folds in half. You will be avenged. Jeez. There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good sized island. What? They say that this ring. Is one of the only two keys to exist. We get the ring back? Is that what this is? What, what happened? Alexei. The throne room. Father. Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. Is there anything I can take at the moment? Anything at all to help? Um. Times have I looked at that skyline? It feels like everything just changed. I'm guessing the other window. Should I just spin it and pick a place to hide for a while? I need time to think. The Hound Pits Pub. I can't believe it, but I actually miss those times. These bastards are working with the Ramsey and the Duke of Sirkonos. There's got to be a way to... Ooh. Nice. Thank you. Huh? I have to eat it with my hands. Interesting. We'll see how that goes. No? There's nowhere for me to drop down to. I have no powers. There's gotta be something in the room. They used to hide frogs in this old grandfather clock to drive the housekeepers mad. I thought life was complicated back then. guarantee one of these documents that I've been picking up and not reading has something to do with how to get out of here.